Hello, my name is Jim Noble and I'm the author of this website for teachers of IB Mathematical Studies. I am a teacher of IB Mathematical Studies myself and I'm a huge supporter of the course. I really like the philosophy behind it and the aim to bring all the marvels of mathematics to students who might have chosen to pursue other uh, subjects to high levels or who might not have had very positive experiences of maths to this point. And so this website is exactly what I've, I've just said it is. It's a set of resources to help teachers deliver all those things. So the video now is just a quick guide to the website and how it's structured so you can see what's there and think about why you might subscribe. So across the top we've got a number of headings. The first one is getting started where you can generally see all the administrative parts of the course um, that are just as appropriate for experienced teachers as they are for new teachers. And then quickly we move in to the key topic areas of the, uh, of the syllabus and then the really important aspect of assessment which is there on the right hand side. So uh, number and algebra, we'll have a quick look at this. Generally speaking each of the topic areas has got three key subheadings, the first of which is teaching ideas, where you can see a number of ideas that I've prepared um, with resources for activities that really engage students with thinking about the mathematics, uh, trying to achieve all those goals that are set out in the philosophy. Uh, this, I think, is the real bread and butter of, of teaching this course. And so this, these pages are full of ideas, resourced ideas for activities that you can run in your classroom to get people thinking and to consolidate and really uh, get to grips with some fundamental concepts. Uh, each of those activities comes with its own page where you can see um, there are usually pictures, work documents to download that you might uh, give to students possibly some notes for teachers to help them think about how to run the activity and some embedded resources. I'll just show you another one quickly so you get an idea of the variety of the sort of thing that's about here. Uh, this one's for statistics. Okay, and the second key element uh, under each subject area is about practice. I really understand the importance of practice to consolidate knowledge and to try and get to get familiar with the IB's way of asking questions. So each topic comes with a set of worksheets that are focused on the, the curriculum, uh, the syllabus items, uh, worksheets with answers. And then uh, there's a set of revision notes, I kind of fill in the blanks, revision notes, uh, and some IB style questions um, to help practice these key concepts. And the third aspect of the site uh, under each subject area, topic area, is a, a little guide to some of the things that are out and about on the internet there that can really help with the teaching of those topics, okay? And that's something that's fairly organic. And then lastly, that bit on the right, the assessment bit, uh, is a huge section on internal assessment, all the things that teachers ought to be thinking about, help with how they might manage the whole idea and certainly how they might mark and moderate those sorts of things. Recently there's been quite a lot um, of practice, exa practice sorry, student examples um, put on the site to, to help you understand how you might mark, help students understand as well. So here's just one example that we're looking at. Okay, so in summary the, uh, the, the main aim of the site is, is to take advantage of this medium to create something that's dynamic and organic, that's forever building and changing uh, to be as useful as it can be to teachers. So I hope you find it useful and I hope to see you on our list of subscribers soon. Thanks very much.